Last week, Donald Trump claimed all the Department of Justice had to do was ask for the classified documents and other items the FBI confiscated a week ago Monday, and he would have returned them. Multiple aides have now quoted him saying that those items belong to him. Trump took to social media following the search at his Mar-a-Lago residence and accused his predecessor, Barack Obama, of keeping 33 million pages of documents, much of them classified. Let's look at the fact check by Brandon Lewis, host of Verify. Trump issued a now deleted statement that former President Barack Obama kept 33 million pages of documents, much of them classified. So let's verify. Did former President Barack Obama keep 33 million pages of his administration's records? Our sources are the National Archives and Records Administration and the Presidential Records Act. For nearly two centuries, presidential records were considered the president's private property. This changed in the wake of the Watergate scandal, and in 1978, the Presidential Records Act was passed, requiring presidents to turn over nearly all of their paper records to the National Archives when they leave office. In most cases, presidents will then work with the National Archives to display some of their records in a presidential library, but the records remain the property of the archives. The National Archives responded to Trump's claims about Obama, saying that they are in possession of all 30 million pages of records that Obama turned over. So, no, former President Barack Obama did not keep 33 million pages of his administration's records. Trump's failed attempts to deflect his ongoing legal scrutiny onto Obama are now being coupled with growing complaints about his handling of classified documents at the end of his term and the months since by members of his own inner circle. New reporting from the New York Times released Tuesday afternoon reported one of Trump's representatives to the National Archives, Patrick F. Philbin, was interviewed by the FBI in connection with boxes of sensitive documents that were stored at Mr. Trump's residence in Florida after he left office. When the archives discovered it was missing items, including the highly classified documents, NARA reached out to Philbin. The Times' Maggie Haberman reports, Mr. Philbin tried to help the National Archives retrieve the material. Two of the people familiar with the discussion said, but the former president repeatedly resisted entreaties from his advisors. It's not theirs, it's mine, several advisors say Mr. Trump told them. They also received information from at least one witness who indicated that more material might remain at the residence. Under U.S. law, all White House records belong to the government, not the person who was president. Despite NARA retrieving 15 cartons of documents in January, there were more items that they wanted returned. In May, Trump was sent a subpoena, and yet Trump pushed back on requests to return documents. In June, a Trump lawyer signed a statement saying that there were no classified documents at Mar-a-Lago. And this is what led to the approved search warrant in August, in which the additional documents were seized by the FBI. Trump has not responded to the new accusations that he previously claimed the White House documents belonged to him. But in a True Social post last week, he did claim, number one, it was all declassified. Number two, they didn't need to seize anything. They could have had it any time they wanted without playing politics and breaking into Mar-a-Lago. It was in secured storage with an additional lock put on as per their request. They could have had it any time they wanted and that includes long ago. All they had to do was ask. His social media post is riddled with inaccuracies, but does lend a window into the former president's state of mind following the raid and onslaught of ongoing sources that have come forward to share details of how he may have knowingly mishandled top secret documents. In juxtaposition, Obama is still working with the National Archives and Records Administration to complete his presidential library. It will be the first to be wholly virtual. Thank you for watching Raw Story TV. Please be sure to visit us at rawstory.com, stay informed, and tap below to take action by liking, subscribing, and joining all those who like their news raw.